I'm on a renegade supercell right now, closing in on the Mississippi-Alabama border. There is a tornado watch that's in effect through the evening that was issued at about 8.30. There you could just see that cloud-to-ground lightning strike directly underneath that organizing mesocyclone. That's the rain shaft right there, and it is trying to split, trying to send off a left split. Uh, up further off to the north, I'm watching the right mover, this dominant base here. Uh, this is on the south side of the storm. South is looking that way. The storm is heading directly toward me right now. And out of any storm across the target area, this one definitely has the greatest chance of producing a tornado. And uh, I'm watching it right now as this base is moving off to the northeast, definitely starting to organize, even have an occasional lowering on the south side of the storm. On the very south side of the storm, that's where the hook-like appendage is starting to wrap around a very crisp updraft base on this as well. So as this storm moves off to the northeast into northwestern Alabama, it certainly is gonna have a tornado threat. That's why there is a tornado watch that's in effect through the evening hours as well. And as these storms continue to move off to the northeast, if they're able to become surface based and tap in to this stronger low-level jet, then they certainly uh, will develop tornado potential as they move off to the northeast. But this storm definitely is starting to rotate, has a well-defined mesocyclone already, lightning frequency certainly starting to increase with this storm. And as this turns off to the right, moving more of an east-northeasterly direction, it's really going to tap in to that strong low-level wind shear and definitely will develop a tornado threat as it moves into northwestern Alabama.